Thrilling as your offer is, I'm afraid I'll have to decline. I prefer the security of the job I have to the uh, adventure you offer. No, Nigel, I don't know how secure it is. From what I understand, the Buchanan family fortune is under siege. I hear there's people lining up around the block to lop off a mill or two or three. Nigel, can I uh, have a word? If you'll excuse us, please. It's pressing family business, so to speak. Huh. I'll get you your money. Just let me square things with Nigel, then we'll hammer out the details, OK? I'm not going anywhere. What is David Fix doing here? Listen to me, OK? He followed Natalie and me home from Texas. Huh. He knows we're together. He knows I'm not a Buchanan. And now he was blackmailing us. You idiot! I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. If you had just kept your trousers on. But now all is lost. Not quite all. OK, he knows there's an extra Buchanan floating around out there, but he has no idea that it's him. He has no clue that he is Nisa's son. But it'll only be a matter of time before he finds out. And then everything we've done to protect the Buchanan name, I failed. I promised Mr. Buchanan I would protect his legacy. I failed. Not if I do a little damage control up front. If I tell the family that I'm a fraud and leave it at that, he's going to realize that he can't blackmail me anymore and have no choice but to go away. And if he doesn't? Well, at this point, we don't have much choice. Either I break the news, or David does. <laughs> oh. Hi, guys. How are you? <laughs> Nora, uh, is that your voice? It is. Clint's here, too. Give us a kiss, Nora. I'm sorry. I certainly don't mean to prolong this, but you have interrupted this wedding just to tell us that the groom is an upstanding guy. I, I guess I shouldn't have. Can we just get on with this, please? Mom, just say it. Tell him. I love you. It's true. I'm in love with you, Rex. So I said it, and I'm sorry about the timing, it stinks, but it was just being here in a church and what the priest said. It's important to get it right, and I'm not saying that what I feel is all that important, that it has to change anything, I just thought you should know. I love you. So, uh, I'm having somebody create a list of the best neurosurgeons in the country. Oh, we don't even know what's wrong with her yet. Yeah, I just want to give her what she needs. Well, that'll be a first. Oh, God. If you feel like ripping my head off, that's fine. Do it somewhere else. And don't do it now. Oh, it's just, it's just so sweet that you want to put your daughter first. You're the one that put her in there. That was an accident. What are you... You threw her down a flight of stairs, Todd. You practically ripped her arm out of socket. No. Did you see her arm? Did you see the bruises? Yeah, it was from the fall. It's because of you, you stupid idiot. Okay, I'm the root of all evil. What do you want from me? Disappear. I was only just made aware of Mr. Vickers' presence. Is that Clint's robe? I know, I couldn't believe it either. It's such a nasty color. Nora, if you wanted me out of my clothes, you just had to ask. Oh, God. I have a weakness for reds. <sighs> I'll have it deloused. So, how was the trip? What is he doing here? What is he doing? What are you doing? Nigel, where's the buckshot? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, they're in the office safe at Mrs. Buchanan's request. My son lives here. If I were you, I would run. What, miss all the excitement? Stop it. Pickers! If you're still here when Nigel gets back, you're going to be picking buckshot out of your backside from now until Christmas Day. 
Now, I'm aware that things have probably changed since Asa went to the big roundup in the sky, but this certainly isn't kosher, is it, Nora? Nigel! Still looking, sir. I don't think anyone would object to shooting a trespasser. What? I'm not trespassing. I didn't invite you here. No, you didn't. But he did. Didn't you, Jar Jar? So maybe now she said her piece, we can move on? No, we can't just move on. Not after this. Adriana, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Adriana, wait. My daughter in there. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, she doesn't want to see you. How do you know because that? Because I know she doesn't want to see you, okay? Hello, Doctor. How's my daughter? Is she all right? The loss of consciousness indicates a concussion, but she appears to have come through the fall without any serious injuries. <sighs> We're just going to run a few more tests. Yeah, she's going to be fine. Barring any internal injury. And I will let you know as soon as I know more. Okay. Uh, may I see her? We both want to see her. No, you are not going to You're see her. You're not going to keep me from seeing my you own daughter. You bet! Whoa, hey, where do you think you're going? I have to get to Star. Take it easy. She's in good hands. No, they need to know. <sighs> what? What do they need to know? Hey, what's happening? Mom. Hey, darling. Mm. Feeling all right? Where's Cole? No, he's going to be fine. What do you mean he's going to be fine? It's... I barely touched what him. What did he no, do that? He'll just calm me. <clears throat> Where is he? Star, be Mom, still. Mom, I need to see no, him. No, Star, Flash you stay me. right here. What did you do to him? Dad, Todd, would you please so leave? help me. Todd, just get out. It's fine. Todd, get out. Take it easy. Mom, are you okay? I'm fine, honey. You touch my mom again and I'll kill you. No, it's okay. Let's just help your mom get up, okay? Oh, nice, Marcy. Take her side, just like always. I, I'm, I'm gonna get you some ice. I'll be right back. Adriana. She ruined our wedding. Let's not make it worse. This is our wedding. Do you have any idea how long it's taken us to get here? How many people tried to stop us? We have went through hell to be together. But who cares about that? Who cares how long we've been together or that we love each other? You've had six months to talk about your feelings and you chose this moment? Well, guess what? Your big scheme didn't pay off because this day belongs to me and to Rex and you have no right. You have no right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have even come. Honey, just stay here, okay? No, hey, it's just a shame. Let's just give, give your mom a couple of minutes by herself. Let's have a little man to man here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Well, I guess that's that. Good. Folks, if you could all just stick around and uh, just relax for a minute. I'm gonna go talk to the priest and see if we can take a little breather. Right, you know, we're, we're gonna get this thing jump-started just as fast as we can, okay? You know, any other mother of the bride would be freaking out right now, but not you. You're cool as a cucumber. You egged that girl on, didn't you? You wanted her to stop this wedding. And just how happy were you when your daughter married Rex? I can stay with Shane if you want to go talk to Rex. Well, you know, I think this may be one of those times when even a father can't help. <laughs> <laughs>